Okay, this is an update from the last video. I've now gotten rid of the bin and I'm now using a moving bed K3 filter, which my um, EasyPod is now running into. Um, that runs through that, goes back to the pond through the pump, runs back over here through the heater, runs back over here, goes back to me through me two returns. So now we're using that 8,000 litre starfish pump to do that line on its own. Um, I think it's doing a good enough job, although it does look still a bit messy in there at the minute. Um, what I'm doing next is I have teed off my um, four inch bottom drain and it's also feeding this midi sieve here now as well. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because the midi sieve just is not doing the business. And I've got a theory as to why it's not doing the business, but it's not. Now, if you can see down there, there's water collecting at the bottom of the sieve. And I'm not getting a huge amount of flow over that sieve compared to... Now, I'm not really familiar with sieves. It's the first time I've ever used one. But from watching YouTube and so on, I, I think I should be getting more of a flow through that for it to be working properly. Like, I should be getting water belting out like that, at least. But um, I'm not. Now, why am I not? Well, questions. I'm using a 4,000 litre pump over here. And with a 1.2, 1.3 metre rise, according to the box off that pump, it's a 4,000 litre pump. I should be getting around 3,000 litres of a flow. I get about through this protein skimmer. Now, as you can see, there's some dirt in that. That's for messing around with that sieve, so it's getting through. Um, so, if I'm getting 3,000 litres through that, is the pump too slow? Do I, do I not have a powerful enough pump to be running on this midi sieve? Or is it the case that I'm using a one and a half inch pipe as my feed to the pump? Now, it is a two inch connection on the midi sieve. But the instructions don't tell me that I have to use a two inch pipe. It just says that it is a two inch pipe that you use. Um, so, if I use the two, in theory, if I use a two inch pipe, surely that, that the sieve would drain quicker. But my thinking is that if I use a two inch pipe all the way down to the pump and I feed the pump with a two inch pipe, surely I'd have to have a two inch um, you know, being pumped out of the pump as well into this uh, protein skimmer in order to for that to work. Now it's only a one and a half inch connection on the protein skimmer, so I don't see how putting a two inch pipe out will really make that much difference. But the question is, is if I put a two inch pipe on the phase to the pump and on the outlet from the outlet on the sieve, will that solve the problem even though I've got a one and a half inch pipe feeding the protein skimmer? My head is melted, completely annoyed from doing all this now at this point because I've been messing around like nobody's business, trying, spending a lot of money <laughs> to try and get it all sorted out. So if anybody has any, anybody has any uh, ideas on how to solve this problem and what it is I should be doing, I'm all ears. Thank you.